Hold on guys, this is Mechanic Love Classics. We're here with another video. We're gonna show you how to remove the sway bar bushing. And uh, before we can jump into it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, so we gotta remove this, this sway bar link over here. And we're, well, we're, we are replacing the uh, bushings for the sway bar link. So in order to do that, we gotta get this uh, link out, the link on, Driver's side, I don't know if y'all can see it. Sun's kind of in my face right now. It's there though. That link right there. And then we gotta move to these bushings right here. Those are the bushings we're replacing on this side and passenger side. But in order to do that, you gotta remove um, four components in order to get the whole bar out. This may seem like a time consuming process, but I'm more than happy to walk y'all through more of it. Try not to lose any of those pieces because they if if they're if those bushings aren't bad on that that um that rod that's right there, then you can go ahead and reuse them. Most people replace them. Okay, so now, now that he's got the nut for that to for it to come out, that this bar will not move until you get both sides out to where it freely moves and there's no tension on it. So now we're gonna move to the, the driver's side. It's the exact same thing we did over here. You're gonna loosen the top bolt and the bottom bolt with a 15. One bolt may come off, one may not. You can use vice grips to grab the center rod um, to kind of make it or stop it from twisting around so you can get that top bolt out that's why i say most of them uh most people replace that too but you know mechanics on a budget where this is this is you know what we got to do so now we're going to move to the driver's side um rod and get that out <gasps> which is that one right there. Had to do a quick flip Haven't moved like that since high school. <laughs> so yeah, if y'all, if I got, we got older folks out here, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know how it was back in the day. You can be able to do anything as kids. Now it's just like, eh. Gotta think about the consequences now. I know, sorry for the light, for the sun, guys, but it's it's there. It's hot out here in Texas. So as you can tell, he's got that 15 at the bottom, and he's holding another 15 up top. Again, one bolt may come off, and the other one may not. However, once you get it loose, it should just pop freely. If it doesn't, again, like I was saying on this side, if it doesn't pop freely, then you can get vice grips right here to hold it from spinning while you get either the top bolt or this bottom bolt off right here. See, you see how the bushing's right there? Usually when the other side gets done as well, um, this, this sway bar will move a whole lot more freely than, than anything else. Sorry about that guys, I had to move some stuff. And the reverse process to put everything back is the exact same, the exact same way you're taking everything off. So whatever the last piece or the last Thing you did to get this sway bar out is the exact same way you're going to work backwards to get it back in. Yeah, I know everybody saw that sexy car back there. Lord knows I did. Oh, 
see it. And see, and there it goes. The whole bar is now loose. All right, so now that the, the bar is moving freely now, now you can move to these brackets right here to get the bushings out on both ends. That's pretty much what you're gonna have to, to do to get um, this sway bar link out. And then pretty much once you get that out, whatever you're doing to it, if you're changing out the sway bar, Mind you, this is only for reusing the original sway bar. This is not, we didn't purchase an aftermarket one. We don't have a different one. We're just replacing the bushings on the sway bar, the sway bar bushings. And yeah, so here we're going to get started on taking off the, um, the brackets up top for holding the sway bar to the chassis. And now he's working on taking off that. I know the sun's spike hit in this direction. But as you can see, this, this big old square you see right here, that that is where that bushing is. The bushing is right here, but that square is what's keeping that bushing in place right now. Again, if you guys have power tools, this goes a whole lot faster. But for the purpose of this video, we decided to use normal ratchet binding tools. So that way we can, you can see what we're doing and hear what I'm explaining. So, like I was saying before, you may need to get vice grips on this inner rod right here to get this, this, this nut off to get the bushing or the bracket for the bushing out. As you can tell, I got my vice grips already pinned down. I have a socket. Uh, like I said, if you guys have power tools, this thing is so much quicker. See, and it pops off. Bushing comes out. And there goes the rod. And out pops the bushing. This one's a little torn out, but it will pop off. And that's how you get the bushings out. 